Alright guys, starting off where we left off from the last episode. Here it is, the Baron River boat ramp. Now, just going down from that river, as you follow the river, you come down to the mouth of the Baron River. And also, next to it is Machen's Beach. And Machen's Beach covers this entire coast, all the way up to where this little creek here, this bar creek here, intercepts. Okay. So to get to Machen's Beach, if you come from town, so the first roundabout we start off here, here, from the Baton River where we finished off. First right turn is Machen's Beach. And as you head straight down, zoom in straight down here for this road here. And if you take the, um, the turn just before the T intersection, the right turn here, it will take you all the way down. You just keep following, don't turn away, it'll take you all the way down to the mouth of the Baton River. And here I stand. See you down there. Hello guys and welcome back to the final episode of Cairns Land Based Fishing Spots. Guess where I am? <laughs> That's right, this is the first beach from Cairns, Machen's Beach. So I'm right here, I'm at the mouth and this is where I'm going to start off and work our way up the northern beaches. Now, north of Cairns is mainly all just beaches a few small creeks in between and obviously good some pretty good spots for fishing if you like fishing in the beach easy places to get to these places uh, with that being said guys let's get into it and uh, I'll show you uh, some of these uh, northern beaches locations obviously right here where I'm standing uh, here's the car park if you come to Majors Beach you park there where my car is you got this little high sand bar here where you can access you can see how the tide a super high tide three minute tides comes all the way over up here so you get this nice little area to fish and you see the tide comes all the way up and goes all around popular spot nice little gutter running right through here all the way down and then it curves off to the left and out to sea. Prawns usually hang around this little eddy here, little calm water. There's a bit of mud and sand where the prawns like. Easy place, a few little mullets swimming around. Easy place to throw your net nice and high. Uh, on good time, you can get prawns. Uh, this is a good time right now. And I believe the tide's going out though. So, yeah. Oh, look, there's a few mullets. Definitely that's what you want to catch when you're using live bait. And further up, you can fish all along this beach here, all the way up to that end up there as well. Guys, as we walk further to the front of the mouth, right here, we've got the nice yabby patch here. During the low tide, you'll see what I mean. Uh, should be able to see these holes. Usually you can tell when it's a you got this color mud and sandy bottom and then there's plenty of small holes protruding that's a sign that there's yabbies around now you can find them anywhere up at the uh further up in the estuaries as well in certain eddies and bays where um where there's soft mud bottom i don't know if i can see there's probably the tide is too high at the moment i'll find a good example there you are you see all these holes, all these little holes. See how it's soft bottom? This is wonky hole style bottom, all right guys? This is what you want. Find uh, this sort of bottom out in the reef or scouring for wonky holes, they'll be around this sort of stuff. See how it's soft, but yet it still holds its form. Yeah, not too hard and too soft. So you use a yabby pump and pump bait out of here. All these holes. And yeah, free bait, guys. And chasing whiting, brim, anything along the flats also works great on the incoming tide. Fish the incoming tide with these yabbies and you're pretty much guaranteed to get a bite. All right? 
small bitty brims, small grunners. You, know, you will get the odd big one if you're lucky. Yeah. But bring the kids out, uh, pump those yabbies, and it's free bait and it's enjoyable as well. Uh, yeah, target the low tide, pump the yabbies in the low tide, and then when the tide's pushing in, cast it into the flats as you can see these tides. So here we are. So as we move to the left side of Machen's, we got the flats, the mud, mud and sandy bottom. Also, I like fishing the mud and sandy bottoms. It makes a really good fishing spot all along this beach, guys. You can fish and it can be easily accessed. It just a few short seconds walk through. There are, there are roads in the bushes there, passage walkways. And just walk out and fish here. Yeah. Good fishing on the big tides. Yeah, so all these places uh, along the Machen's Beach here will have clear walkway passages through the bush here, depending on where you want to go. And just walk out with your rods. Easy to get to. And yeah. Just looks bushy. But uh when you walk inside it, yeah, it's quite, you see the vegetation's not thick. It's quite clear. So guys, here we are at the car now. So, it's where I was before, little island, showing you the mouth and the yabby beds. We've got to take you guys over to the rock wall. So let's start from here to the rock wall over there and then to the other rock wall on the other side as well. And in between here, there are passageways, walkways through to access the beaches. You'll notice as you come down this dirt road, you'll notice all the clearing walkways. And you just pick which, which one you want, park your car somewhere out of the way. And yeah, easy fishing. So, let's go over there and see what's over there. Just a few meters from where I parked, you've got a nice public toilets there. And you can park your car here. And there's the more walkway entrance to the beach as well, right there. Access all that beach right there, no problems. So, here's the other walkway to the uh, rock wall inside the mouth of Majens. So, you can literally just park your car here. The other spot straight down the other side of the beach and inside to the Barren River. Okay, so I parked the car there. So here's the walk track. So, um, yeah, I'll see you guys at the rock or at the entrance of the Barren. Alright, here we are. We've got a Y intersection, we've got a left turn. A right turn down there so if we just take the left turn here there we are that's where I was before over that sandbank if you guys can see and I've just come a few about 200 meters up here also a good easy place to fish a few fallen trees and log structures you can flick a few lures and the rock wall is just there okay you can just walk along the beach here, come from over there to the car park and walk along the beach to get to it, or take the track that I took. So, let's get back onto the track. Easier to walk. Okay. Here we are. Another opening. There you go. That's where I was before over there with the blue boat, and just walk through the. Uh, Bit of forest there, all the way up to here. I see a little good structure there, it's good. Good fishing spot, and along here as well. Now, I believe this could be a rock wall or something that's been all broken down. Yeah, so here we are. Now this place, uh, during the brim season, does pretty well during the brim season. If you're chasing some pikey brim, they like this. Uh, rock and sandy bottom. Yeah, 
and you got a nice deep gutter running right here as well. Yeah, see, look at that. Yeah, plenty of mullet bait. When you see bait like that swimming around, the big fish ain't usually far away. But yeah, don't cast net and stuff like that. It's gonna rip your net to pieces. So here it is. A place where you can flick a few lures uh, before work or after work in the morning. Uh, yeah. And uh, you never know your luck. Structure is good. Okay. Okay, so let's keep moving on. Let's head back to the head back to the car and then um, head back out of Machin's Beach and there's a few other places as well. So. Yeah. Let's keep moving on. Alright guys, moving on. Coming out of uh, the Ban River. And the next stop will be this bridge here. And you can fish along this rock wall here. And here's where I parked. Now, on this picture on Google Earth, it's a full flowing creek all the way out. But um, it is now cut off. The shifting sands have cut it off and there are estuary mangroves growing on it. So I don't think it will be going anywhere very soon. Unless we've got a massive category 5 cyclone that destroys it all completely. But yeah, I'll see you guys down there. All right, guys, here we are on the ground, on the creek. And, yeah, obviously uh, used to be a good fishing spot when it was still full flowing. Yeah, here's another um, branch off from the Barren River. It comes in through here. And it used to be full flowing all the way through under the bridge here out to sea and then uh, fishing on both of these two sides was pretty good fishing it still is now and um yeah after oh i reckon a couple of years now i think the weathering and now the shifting sands has covered it and it's never been able to push its way through and now plants are growing onto it and I think it's going to be a permanent sandbar now. So it's completely cut off now. Which, which is a bummer. Because uh, it used to be good fishing under this creek along the rocks. Barra and salmon used to hang around it. But it's been cut off now. So here we are on the creek side. Um, good place to get bait. Uh, you just come along the edge there. Throw a few nets there. I was able to get some prawns. Good sized prawns down here. Um, yeah. Uh, easy place to get some mullet if you're chasing some liveys. Get it here and then take it down to the beach and just cast off the beach. Uh, you can also get bait off the beach there too in good time. And prawns as well. Okay, so um, let's go down to the beach here and see what it is. What it looks like down there. There we go. Nice little information by here. A little measuring tool there as well. They got the usual suspects all here. Yep. And yeah. And the map as well. There you go. So every uh, every 10, 20 meters, there's a stairway up here where you can fish right off does pretty well there you go so this is a popular spot usually you can just come straight down here anchor a few rods out and fish because this used to be a river mouth and I fish the I think the fish still linger around this area and um, that's where I was down right down the end down there I was pointing up the rock wall this end that structure there is always good. Remember guys, I like fishing structure. And usually when you see those poles like that during the low tide, it will be a good spot to just uh, throw a few lines close to them. Because uh, those, those places usually attract bait. And there's bait, there's big fish around. The warning sign says, keep it off the rocks, serious injury may occur. 
thing is some of these some of these rocks aren't stable so if you stand on them and they rock and you lose your balance yeah it's not going to look good for you and um, see there's another another spot there you see a few pole structure there also very good i'm just going to walk over to this one this this staircase so you can see the other side of machins all the way further north there we are so here we are coming up to that um staircase so yeah there's a there's a road here so if you exit the road to Matrix beach up there you make the turn off and then you'll come across the t intersection further up and then you take the right turn you'll come up to here and you make the left turn and you go further north up to the other end i'll show you that in a minute here we are the other staircase you know, a lot of people just fish off these staircases see some built-in rod holders already there a couple of years and it's it, it, there's good reports of good bar and salmon being caught all along this rock wall over there so you just just pick pick where you want to fish pretty much and uh have a crack at it so um, more rod holders down there. So let's keep moving north, guys. I see up at the northern end up there. This T intersection, and you got Mason's Beach all along here. There's got a rock wall here where you can fish. All right, guys. So here we are at that turn off. See if you go right, you end up to where I was before. And you make a left turn here, which I'm gonna do. And we go further up north. The beach. You keep going up. You get to the top. Now here we are at the top of the intersection. At the top of Machin's Beach. I'm parked right here. And I've just walked over to these rock walls to the north here. And then I'll show you the creek. Yeah. Just along here this rock wall fishes really nicely. Salmon and barra does pretty well. Well, pretty much the entire rock wall, really. You just find a spot and fish. All public. And yeah, the, the creek mouth usually does really well. So I'll show you what it looks like down there. So uh, see you there. Now that we've parked, here we are. The end of the right turn. go that's where I was down there all the way down the other end of the rocks so you can fish all along here pretty much all up to that end there now I used to fish off here and it does uh, it does pretty well with salmon and barra because um, right over there Right over there, there's a there's a little creek. Let's go into that creek and show you. Yeah, the little creek mouth exits there. Alrighty, coming up to the creek mouth. There you go. There you go. Now this creek is passing through now and offers a really good fishing spot right out of the mouth yeah, you just fish right off the rocks uh live bait and on the other side of that creek is um i believe it's holloway's beach i believe yeah holloway's beach or something so. so that's my next stop um let's go over to that creek to give you an idea what it looks like nice little look out okay there you go look at that so you can uh uh, get bait off here, scroll and go down the rocks there, get some bait and then get bait, fish right off here. You can do it here or just over the other side of um, Holloway's there. Alright, so to the other side we go and I'll see you guys on Holloway's Beach. Okay, the next roundabout guys moving on is Holloway's Beach. Get knocked down. Okay, you keep heading down, follow this main road. You can go straight ahead 
uh, beaches here. You can park all along here. A few restaurants. Or you can, uh, moving back, you turn up at the first roundabout, make another right turn, and you follow that. And you come down this road, and this is where I was showing you before. You stop, park under here, and you can enter out here on this main beach. Alrighty, here we are. This is what it will look like, this area. It's the walkway down there. So you just find a nice, cozy spot to park here. Sit down to the beach. See you guys, here's more crocodile, no swimming signs. But some people just ignore it and go swimming anyway and they get taken by crocs. It's unfortunate. If you guys really wanted to, you can just park up there and go home down the stairs and then um, if it's shallow enough, you can just cross straight over without having to go all around from uh, Holloway's beach. Fairly easy. Sometimes the sands shift and uh, it is completely blocked. So it's just sandbar like the other creek I showed you down there. But uh, now that um, there's a bit of rain and a bit of big tides and it has pushed the sand through and now there's an opening, which is good. The opening would create um, highways for the small bait fish and the big fish would be hanging around as well. So here we are, low tide on the creek bed. So it's just all mud flats. Uh, let's come along. Obviously bring some shade guys, you're exposed pretty heavily out in the sun here. Bloody hot today. And fish. Yeah, that gentleman there, he came across fairly easily because it's shallow. But sometimes if this keeps running, it'll eventually dig into the sand and it'll get deeper and deeper. And soon you won't be able to cross it anymore. But good camping spot right here. Camping is in camping for fishing. No overnight camping's all right. They don't allow it here. And you can fish all the way along this beach. And there's a swimming lifeguard section where they zone off all the way over there we can swim as well so nice, nice spot for the kitties holloways so yeah be sure to get this place a shot as well guys and uh moving on to the next one we head off all the way down to the northern end of holloways there's another creek exit all the way down the northern end now as you keep going north you keep going north here just keep following this road all the way up north. Follow this one. Uh, turn uh, uh, right, right here. Follow this little one here, the Holloway's Beach Esplanade Reserve, and keep following this little road all the way, all the way until you come to the end here. And there's a little public parking here. You park your car here. Walk through the trees. Yeah, there'll be a little walkway, public walkway. And you come up to this little uh, stop here, pretty much. So I suppose you can just camp any pocket car somewhere here and uh, head through there for the dump truck there, this little walkway there and down to the other end. So here we are. I've fished this place a few times guys and I've done pretty well. Yeah, entrance of Holloway. Yeah, that's where we were over the rocks all the way over there. Machins all the way down the end. And we come through here, all the way to the northern end of Holloway's Beach. Yeah, if you guys are wondering, I've got my hat on here because uh, of the sun. It's too bloody damn hot. So, I'm just gonna walk all the way to the northern end. There's the creek entrance of Tomatoes Creek. If you guys are wondering what Tomatoes Creek is, it's, it's uh, another branch off from the Baden River. I'll show you on the uh, Google map. And it branches out and it comes out here, all the way. Tomatoes Creek. Up to the northern end and you come to the mouth of Tomatoes Creek. This little Tomatoes Creek. Uh, this little creek is another extension of the Baden River, if you follow it. 
up around, cuts through there, and there's the main Barren River. There it is. All right, guys, as we get closer to the mouth of Tomatoes Creek, it is a few structures there. That's a good sign for fishing. Fish along this structure. Coming on a low tide, mark exactly where it is. And when the tide's pushing in, you can just set your lines around this area. A few structure over there as well. And uh, it looks like there's a deep gutter here, just in front. Uh, yeah, it looks good. Nice solid one. Oh, there you go. Here's a mouth. There's a structure. See how there's a little bit of settled water here? And then you got a bit of a break there. Break down the end. So this area looks like it's a bit deep. And it's shallow down at the end down there. And then you got a deeper end further where the mouth exits. So it's a nice place to fish this area, I reckon anyway. So let's uh, head back up to the other side, Tomatoes Creek. There we are. There you go. There you go guys, the creek. Uh, you can get bait all along here. Just You can go over there, you can get bait. And uh, I think there was some dredging work here. They were dredging this because it was getting shallow. And uh, yeah, the dredge is gone. So you can see the wash, yeah, and the three meter tides. It clearly covers the whole sandbar completely. And um, yeah, you see how deep it is? It gets pretty deep. Yeah, considering it's up here. And uh, someone stuck this tree here as well. And just this bit here looks like a little bit of opening here. <laughs> you got where the water just comes all the way up. There we have it, guys. So, the uh, southern end has a creek entrance, and the northern end of Holloway's Beach has another creek entrance. Uh, see how it comes around. A, uh, a good fishing spot. I like fishing these uh, creek mouths. Usually does uh, does good. And uh, this one, especially this one from Holloway's, it is a bit of a hike. Probably took me about, depending on how fast you walk, 10, 15 minutes. And if you're carrying a lot of fishing gear, it might be a bit of a burden. So, uh, see if you guys want to chill out here. And hey, there's another creek entrance over there as well. Small one that comes around. Uh, that's, that other side is Yorkie's Knob. So, uh, same deal. You come to the northern end of the Yorkies. And then there's a similar place to park like you saw uh, on this side and then you can walk all the way out and you end up on this side the other side here you can fish that side or, or hit it from this side so Holloway's Beach you can hit it from this side and Yorkie's Knob you can hit it from that side and you've got Tomatoes Creek here we can easily get bait all along here yeah and along if you're if you're from um, Yorkie's Knob you can get bait on the other side of that creek as well which is over the other side yeah you guys something for you guys to try out so to the next one Yorkie's knob on the other side I'll see you in the next beach keep heading north and you come across the Tomatoes Creek Barren River the creek that I've shown you before where it enters the uh, mouth of um, uh, Holloway's got a few fishing spots here so you got this old train bridge here sugar cane bridge that uh, if you want to risk it, you can hop and skip along here and throw a couple of lures, but I wouldn't recommend it. But the some of the daredevils would like to do it. You can, if you come up this road here, and you just make a left turn here, and then park your car here, you can walk down here, fish off this bridge. Uh, and 
to get to the uh, other side you'll have to go up the road uh, the main road and make a U Yui right here you come back around and be very careful guys this area uh, is a hundred speed limit so make sure you signal early make sure there's no cars close to you you make a turn off right here make a left right here and uh, you can drive down to here and park under this tree here and there's a nice little comfy fishing spot on a ledge under this tree you can't see it here but all right guys here we are in the next spot there's the main road the main uh bruce highway or captain cook highway whichever one it was again uh this is a hundred zone okay that one so when you turn off be very careful you don't cause any accidents when you slow down okay uh it's very important but so what you do is you do turn off here as i showed you on the map and then you come down here park your car here another good potential fishing spot as well yeah there's a few fishing lines hanging off there some missed cars this is tomatoes creek yeah nice good clearing and uh couple of rod holders yeah it's got a nice good clearing and um a shady tree to fish camp a few hours some good rock structure and uh yeah you got a few people uh <laughs> getting the lines caught so that's the uh left side of tomatoes i mean right side of tomatoes and that's the left side of tomatoes a couple of rod holes you can just go down here and just fish along here little air tree so if you keep following this creek down you'll end up to the uh, to the river mouth at uh york is not where i was just before yeah that's where it ends up and then um if you come up this river this is coming up river you'll connect to the barren river on the other side of the main highway yeah so yeah for you guys to try you guys want to have a crack at it you never know it does look uh, uh pretty good and you got the spot under the bridge just over there too so i'll take you over to the under the bridge and see what the under the bridge looks like okay here we are the bridge there you go guys tomatoes creek yeah so, and under the bridge there you go it's all cemented yeah over there you got the tram bridge which uh there is another turn off on the other side of the road there is another turn off on the other side of the road which you can skip on that train beach which i do not recommend you guys do but uh if you're a bit of a daredevil you can uh skip on the train bridge but remember there are only logs and then uh yeah you lose your footing you're in big trouble uh you can fish here another bridge here cast along these pylons uh again i tried luring as well no luck and yeah worth a shot all right moving on to yorkie's knob just up the other next roundabout all right guys here's that turn off i was telling you about on the other side of the bridge it's right here there's the bridge there you turn it off you take a left turn and go down this old road and then you can park the car just down uh next to the bridge and walk on the train bridge but uh yeah that's a bit risky one that one so i don't recommend you try that one but uh but yeah it is a potential fishing spot okay okay moving on there's the cans go-kart track uh keep heading up i did meet the next roundabout and this is uh yorkie's knob so turn down the yorkie's knob pretty simple forward there we go yorkie's knob right there just don't turn anywhere just keep following the road and the next spot that i'll be showing you is just keep coming down here and uh park here uh let's get down there and show you what it looks like all right guys here we are this beach so if you keep going following this road all the way down there you'll end up to uh 
uh, an end where you can park your car and you can do the rest of the walk probably about 15 20 minutes to the, the mouth of Tomatoes Creek and there would be exactly the same place where you saw me um, at Tomatoes Creek on the Holloway Beach site so uh, I'm not gonna bother going down that way because there's uh, pretty much the same spot but just the opposite that so, uh, will be on the, on the map to show you before and then here we are the pocket car here this is also another potential fishing spot you've got a, a nice little playground there for the kiddies too uh, and the public toilets right there and what you can do is you can come here some people i've seen people going off up climb over the rocks to the other side to fish i've never done that before but uh, uh people have done it so yeah, a bit of dab devil as well you can give that a try and you can come and fish all along this rock down to the other end so uh, you'll see you down the other end so, yeah. yeah as you keep walking to the end here this place is usually pretty good fishing if you want to bring the kids and family to hang out there's a life-saving swimming area right there as well uh designed off from the jellies so you can swim there and there's always lifeguards on duty here i have caught a, a barren salmon here in the past years of my fishing i really should give this place another shot in good time it's fairly easy i usually just cam my rod under the trees here under the shade and just sit along here or uh, when i was fishing back in the time they never made this uh, uh, rail or seats it was just rock wall it was just the pavement and the rock wall only so they've made these nice we can put your rod onto if you want and uh cast out uh, yeah just chill out here easy place to get to nice good shade um swimming hole if the fish aren't biting and a playground for the kitties so you got a bit of everything toilets as well oh uh, yeah good place for the family to enjoy this one okay let's head to the uh, york is not boat ramp and i'll see you over there okay moving on to the next one you just go and you turn off this uh take a right turn here and uh if you're coming from where we were just before it will be a right turn and then the york is not boating club and uh, boat ramp Follow here, there's the Yorkie Knob uh, Boating Club restaurant and the famous place where I usually load my boat sometimes, the Yorkie's Knob Boat Ramp. There's the Yorkie's Knob Boating Club. You just keep going, here's the rock wall. And just get you a bit to the rock wall there and show you guys. Okay, walking out to the rock wall here guys. Nice mariner. And looking over the other side, you got a nice beach and some rocks and beach so let's climb up here here what you guys can do is skip along those rocks over on the side there there's a couple of nice shady spots under the tree and cast your line out over there or you can go right across the other side and fish as well if you like and along this rock wall you can walk all the way over to that rock wall. Now it does say a warning sign. So uh, pretty much uh, enter at your own risk. It's pretty much. So I have fished uh, over there before, and uh, by skipping these rocks with live bait over there, and I've done pretty well with salmon and barra over there. Just at the light post, at the uh, beacons there, there's a gutter. A if you skip to the edge you can fish along the gutter or fish along uh, this entire rock wall a word of warning guys these rocks some of them are unstable okay so when you step on them they might tilt or move so uh, be very careful if you want to attempt skipping these rocks over there just for an example let's see i think there was a one loose one see how it's like this step on it and it moves a bit yeah uh some some moves even more so you, you got to be careful if you jump on it and it if you jump on the rock and it moves it tilts and you and um 
it throws you off yeah there goes all your fishing gear and everything and you probably end up hurting yourself on the rocks yeah so be very careful when attempting skipping these rocks guys and uh these are all the places i know fishing near the yorkies knob rock wall there is another place all the way over the other end other side there's a creek just coming out here and on the other side there is uh another fishing place over there so i'm gonna go all around yorkies knob i believe it's uh this beach um oh, i forgot anyway i'll just see you on the other side over there okay okay guys as we exit back out of the yorkies knob there's another place where you can get some bait in between the beaches you come out this is the main road of out of yorkies knob and then you make a uh, right turn so yeah the turn is pretty much the first um the first right turn as you exit out of yorkies knob pretty much and there is a little creek just here yep we can get bait so, um, uh, yeah, I'll uh, see you guys down there. All right, guys, here we are in that spot. Uh, it's usually an okay place to get some bait as well. If you're chasing some bait in between the beaches. Sometimes the beaches are, gets pretty hard to get bait. So uh, you can come here, this spot here. A few little gates here. You could probably possibly throw a few lures. Yeah, this is what the other side looks like. Yeah. Just be careful, guys. You can walk along these little clearings and try to um, cast will go all up around here. Barrow likes hanging around these little small creeks. Yeah, another another place to try, guys. Yeah. All right, moving on. Let's keep going further north. Yeah, the next one will be Trinity Park roundabout uh i fish this uh very rarely because uh never really caught much fish here but uh this little creek that divides uh yorkie's knob and uh treaty park it's worthy of a shot as you come down you come up to another roundabout but just before there you got a boat ramp parking but then you'll have to come around here and drop your boat down here and then take your boat park over here as you can see here nice little restaurant here I forgot what it's called I think it was blue water something yep and this is where I was I'll see you down guys down there alrighty so here we are the blue water bar and grill restaurant another boat ramp just beyond Yorkie's knob uh, so there you go guys there's no parking here unless you got a boat so I'm just gonna quickly stop here and show you guys the blue water boat ramp there and here you can load your boat and head off down that way and then you end up at the mouth of um, Yorkie's Knob there uh, the boating club and yeah uh, obviously you can come there and get some bait and prawns there as well the other two guys there and another place you guys can try let's keep moving i'm not allowed to park here so i better not stay here too long it's only a de-rigging lane all right moving on to the next one uh across the bridge where a few guys were casting for prawns right here i believe they were casting for prawns come down to the end here in treaty park for sure park there We'll park the cars there and then we're just going to head down this end okay i think there's a track that you can go up there and climb up goes up around there i believe and goes out the other side now i have never fished over there in my 10 years yeah, I've, I've never fished over there in my 10 years of being in Cairns. Uh, so it's worth, uh, if you guys want to give it a shot, you can give that a shot. And 
There's where I was before, the rock wall, Yoki Snub uh, Fighting Club. And there's the creek entrance. So if you walk along here, you can access the creek entrance. Well, there it is, guys. It's over here. There's the mouth there. There's a barge. But they're doing a lot of construction now, so there's no entry into this area for some reason. They got signs of no entry here because they're doing construction, so... I might not be in a uh, uh, good zone, so I better get out of here. If you enter the beach, from where you uh, park the car, you can fish the left side or come here. Once this construction is done, I'm sure they'll open it again and you can fish there. But uh, I don't think there's any now. They're doing see all these pipes and everything. So, uh, unfortunately, I couldn't get over to this river mouth at the time because they was doing some construction. They had a bit of a zoned off, as you can see. So I just stayed here and filmed it here. But you can come onto this uh, sandbank uh, usually most of the time, but without the construction, and you can get yabbies right off here. I've gotten yabbies off here, pretty good sized yabbies. If you had a yabby pump, they just fish this creek. Alright guys, moving on to the next beach. Here's a roundabout Trinity Park. Keep heading north. I believe the next one is Trinity Beach. Let's turn off here. There you go, Trinity Beach. He comes around. This is, I think this is where the track comes out. This is the track. It goes around. And uh, I have fished over there, those rocks before. And I've caught nothing. So it's just pretty much a stretch of beach, guys. Kawara Beach. No, sorry, Trinity Beach. This is Trinity Beach. And it ends up over there. There's Double Island there. Now, I've not caught any fish on this one. A beach like this. No structures, no potential good fishing spots, but um, you guys can give it a shot if you like, these northern beaches. But when I'm fishing the beaches, I'm always looking for some kind of a fish holding structure. That usually uh, increases your chances, but it doesn't mean that you won't be able to catch anything here. Uh, so you go on to the other side, I suppose. The next roundabout is Kawara Beach. There it is. And down Kawara Beach. There's a spot down here that could worth mentioning. See you guys at the beach. Off Kawara Beach come down to the last roundabout straight down take a left turn head off down to this area and then you got a little uh, public parking here as you can see Kawara Beach Park there you can park it in here and walk right out here all right guys here we are Kawara Beach now there's one spot here that I would like to sh show you guys if you guys are interested Now, you see this picture, yeah, it says um, is we are here over here. Now, if you come down the beach here, you come all the way up here, if you want to do the hike, there's a little creek there, and that's a good fishing spot there too. But it's a bit of a hike, and the only place that I know of to get to is if you park where we are here and walk along the beach. There you go, guys. Now over there you got the rock wall. And that's Clifton Beach, half of it. And then you got Palm Cove right there in the Palm Cove G. That's where the finale is going to be. All right, yeah. Palm Cove Jetty. Now this little stretch of beach is a bit of a walk. So if you walk all the way down here, there's a little small creek. And there's like a estuary muddy bottom and sand which is good and you can camp over there with some line there's a little eddy bay over there and um yeah it does pretty good fishing but uh, it is a bit of a walk guys but uh i'll walk over here and to the north side of quara beach you got this little creek now there's always a good spot to fish so if you're up here high there's a good place to prospect here all right uh, salmon and barrel loves these creek entrances 
So it's a really good potential spot. Fishing. I've caught salmon and bar off here before. Here we have it. Eh? Clara Beach, nice place, not too far. Just over there in the rock walls over there is Clifton Beach. That's also worth a try as well, but then beyond that there's not much. And uh, you got Palm Cove Jetty, which that's the next place we'll be. But uh, make sure you guys get this little creek a shot and get some bait in there. And then uh, camp up here in the higher tides. And uh, there's a nice shady tree there you can sit under. And some rods out here. Um, or down this other end here. I have done pretty well here in the past so make sure you guys give this place a shot if you guys want to chase some beach fishing as well yeah these little creek structures are awesome fish magnets yeah so make sure you guys stop by here as well uh, straight over to palm cove and uh we finished the episode there all right guys here we are that's the entrance that's the parking. We are the awesome Palm Cove Jetty. There it is. Palm Cove Jetty. Hey? No diving, so don't jump off the jetty. Walk over to the end of the jetty. Popular fishing spot amongst many. This place does pretty well during the mackerel run. During about August there. Worth giving a shot during August. Obviously there's the rocks there you can fish along as well. You can't be bothered if the jetty gets too packed you can just cast off the rocks. And yeah, that's where I was down there before. Aquara Beach. You got Clifton Beach halfway and you got Palm Cove right at the top tip here. If you really want to get extreme you can swim over to Double Island over there, right? Eh? <laughs> That's another good fishing spot over there. Yeah. Hope you guys enjoying the video so far. This is the last place to finish off the three-part series of Cairns fishing locations guys uh, if you're new to the channel make sure you subscribe for more content later if you like what you see and uh, before you leave as well hit that thumbs up button as well before you leave and if you haven't seen the Cairns Central and the city spots and the southern end all the way to the other side of Cairns Make sure you check those videos out too. They'll be popping up on the screen at the end of the video. Yeah, you see? You got clean, clear water. Yeah, most, uh, most places in Cairns along the beaches is always murky. It only clears up when it's uh, really calm reef weather. But since the Panko Jetty is a bit further out here, you got a bit of clean water. So it's good for mackerel during these times. Obviously it's a fisherman's jetty, rod holders everywhere. And like I said, perfect time during August there to come and chase a bit of feet of a mackerel off the land. So here we are, right at the tip of the Palm Cove jetty guys. Well guys, guess it's bye for now. And until the next video guys, I'll be all staying safe, look after each other, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.